The old growth forests of Wakasugiyama and Fukuoka, Japan, are home not only to Shinto shrines and ancient cedar trees, but also an ultra rare jewel orchid, Odontochilus hatasmanus. In this video, we'll be seeking out this critically endangered orchid, and with luck, we'll even get to see it in flower. Well, it's a really hot morning here. It's already up probably about uh, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, so that'd be high 20s Celsius. And uh, I'm getting ready to climb up that mountain behind my left shoulder, Wakasugiyama. Uh, this is a very popular mountain in the Fukuoka city area. It's right on the very eaves of the main um, urban area. But surprisingly, it is the unlikely home of an extremely rare orchid, Odontochilus hatasmanus. Uh, this plant was considered uh, endangered uh, to the point of uh, probable extinction in the late 70s and then was later uh, rediscovered here on this mountain as well as one other location in Kagoshima uh, Prefecture to the south of here. And as far as we know, those are the only places they live in the world. I I've checked the mountains around here very closely and I've never ever seen another plant. So at least locally, this is the only population I know of. So let's uh, go ahead and get up there before it gets too hot. Uh, the sun is already starting to kick in here and uh, I don't want to melt. The ride up the mountain varies from steep to mild grades. On the way we can see many wild plants thriving right along the road, such as wild daylilies, Hemericalis fulva. Ever present are Japanese cedar trees known as sugi in Japan, and on the lower slopes moso bamboo is also common. The South African bulb, Crocosmia, which has become naturalized, is another typical site. I usually ride up the mountain quickly, hoping for cooler temperatures higher up. With altitude, the temperatures not only decrease, but the sugi trees just get larger and larger. The first stop is at a Buddhist temple. This place, with its old growth canopy and waterfalls, is a cool refuge from the lower mountain slopes. Here another lily relative, Cardiocrinum cordatum, can be seen growing alongside a cascading stream. These plants grow from a basal rosette of leaves, and the tall flower spike holds up to two or more hand-sized blossoms. A narrow trail clinging to the hillside leads out to a colony of the rare jewel orchids. This colony of Odontochilus is unusual in that it occurs in a planted sugi forest rather than a native stand. Well, here we are, and uh, guess what? Almost, but no cigar. Here's the plant still in bud. Um, this is one of the larger colonies I've ever found. There used to be over 50 stems in here, but it's reduced over the years due to uh, it's right along a trail, so trail maintenance, cutting these things down again and again. Uh, it's a bummer they're not in flower. I guess I'm gonna have to come back. Hopefully we can find some further up the mountain here, but uh, time is precious and uh, Trying to find these things in flower can be a real pain in the budinski sometimes. Unhappy with the results so far, it's back on the bike and a ride deeper into the ancient forest. Here the trees reach their maximum size, some measuring 40 meters tall with diameters of 2 or more meters. One can easily see how these giants are part of the redwood family. The king of the mountain is this massive five-stem tree standing 40 meters tall and over 16 meters in girth. Right down this very drainage about 15 years ago, I first found this species. Uh, I thought it was a Gudjera species, perhaps Gudjera foliosa but then later found that uh, it was indeed the rare Odonokylus. So um, let's go ahead and have a look down there, see if we can find any in flower. If not, then I'll be back in a week and we'll try again. The hike down the ravine is rough going through a tangle of underbrush, loose rock, and old growth forest. Within a short time, the plants are found, but alas, these two are still in bud. 
Well, I have been successful in finding more plants here, but uh, as you can see, they're they're in buds. So looks like I'm going to have to make the journey back here in a, about another week. Um, anyway, you get to see some of the plants in their native habitat at least, and uh, I'll show you a couple interesting things about them. For instance, like this one here, you can see is getting washed out and uh, this is very common for the species because uh, the habitat they live in is very unstable it's this kind of a scree rock uh, volcanic loam mix and it just literally washes down the hill particularly during the rainy season I find a small plant which is completely washed out of the ground and decide to replant it against a moss covered root hopefully it will be a bit more secure in this new position Here you can see a little uh, seedling, and this is a true seedling, it's not off a rhizome, so it's, it's always good to see this uh, regeneration of these plants. This uh, plant again is living right inside a drainage where it is in danger of being washed away, just like that last plant I just uh, replanted. Uh, this seems normal for the species and they seem to be adapted to it, so it's kind of interesting lifestyle. Anyway, great to see a little baby coming on like this. After searching the colony carefully, I make the return journey down the steep valley to the trail below. So I'm going to go ahead and end uh, this section of the video here at the base of this big uh, monster, Sugi tree. Uh, this guy is probably about four or five hundred years old. They can go to a couple thousand. Uh, well, you know, we were partially successful today and uh, so it looks like I'm going to have to go ahead and, and haul my butt back up this mountain next week, which is great because honestly today was really not bad. I was uh, concerned about the heat and the bugs and uh, frankly it's been a pleasant day. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and head back down the mountain and uh, it'll be a week for me but it'll be just a few seconds for you to see these plants finally in flower. So please enjoy. It's a new day one week later and I'm excited to see how the plants are doing. This day is more in line with the typical summer day, buggy and hot. First, I'll check out the colony by the temple. Success! The plants with buds last week are now in full flower. The name Odontochelis means tooth lip, but as you can see, this flower's lip has no tooth-like projections, a trait common to most other species in the genus. Today I decide to climb up the narrow valley to the more remote colony. The way up these slopes is not always obvious. On the way, I come across two red-berried plants, Viburnum plicatum and the Japanese ginseng, Panax japonicus. The sugi in this area are truly impressive. Many trees here are two or more meters in diameter. This colony of Adonachelis grows in a mixed broadleaf hardwood forest under the towering sugi canopy. For some reason, they seem to favor these steep, unstable ravines over flatter areas. The plants here as well are near full bloom. With luck, seed set will be good this year, ensuring the future of the next generation. Well, here I am down in this little colony, um, and it's about a week later, and you can see that this plant is just coming into flower. So. Uh, that's kind of late for this species. Uh, it should be flowering about uh, a week, a week and a half earlier than it is this year. Uh, probably due to some kind of strange uh, weather pattern. It was kind of cold this spring and then got suddenly warm, which can throw plants off a bit. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure and uh, we got to see some plants uh, in flower in the wild. Uh, you're among just a handful of people who have had the chance to see this plant uh, in bloom in the wild. There are only two known colonies in the whole world, which is uh, pretty amazing. So, uh, ultra endangered species. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and head off the mountain now before these uh, mosquitoes cart me away. And uh, we'll be back up this way in about two weeks, maybe three weeks, uh, actually with the late flowering. 
uh, up for another species. So I'm not going to tell you what that is yet, but uh, uh, we'll be back up here pretty soon. So anyway, hope you had a good time, and I'll see you next time.